Hey, how's it going everyone? I am a PlayStation. Well, I want to be a PlayStation, but honestly, I just don't think I know enough about PlayStation's history to really transform myself. That's why I'm going to be going to the most comprehensive guide on the history of PlayStation known to man. Astro's Playroom. Today, I'm going to be getting the Platinum Trophy in Astro's Playroom, and it's going to be the first Platinum Trophy of many that I plan on getting on both this PlayStation account and on this channel. I was trying to think about what game would be best for my first Platinum Trophy, and honestly, I don't think there's any better game to choose than this one that celebrates PlayStation's history. Oh, it's Forza! It's also pretty easy, and uh... <laughs> well, I love me an easy Platinum. So first up was just completing the game, which is pretty simple really. The game's broken up into four different areas, and within each of those four areas are four levels. I decided to use a guide for my first playthrough so I could grab all the collectibles along the way and save some time. And so I got started on my way through the levels, and I have to say, I love this game. The gameplay is basic, but it manages to stay fresh because the game interjects different gimmicks such as new vehicles and new items to play around with in each world. For example, in this first world, I turned into a ball. Hey, I get to become a ball again, let's go! I might be on the quest to become a, a PlayStation, but huh. I'm already becoming a ball as well, brother. <laughs> I love being a ball. Another thing to point out is just how cool all the environments are. I mean, look at this next level. One second you're on a beach with Joel and Ellie, the next you're in a snow world, ice skating around without a care in the world. For a free game that comes packaged with the PS5, this game has so much heart, it's hard not to love it. I mean, look at him, he's a, a bouncy guy. Look at him, <laughs> he just bounces and stuff. It's, it's great, I love it. Oh, I didn't think it would go all the way up. What do you mean you didn't know it would go- All the worlds are themed off for a different piece of hardware that's inside the PS5, like this third world I did, GPU Jungle. And I know you're asking, Thomas Foolery, what in this world is GPU themed? Well, I got you covered, listen to this banger. It isn't just this world either, the music in this game is just generally fantastic. It does tend to loop, but I never found it getting grating. Another really cool part of this game is the collectibles. Sure, the game has you collecting some random puzzle piece thingies that aren't particularly exciting, but there are also artifacts, which reward you with different PlayStation merch from throughout the years. Ooh, artifact, what we got? PS2 multi-tap, what? What is, what is the, oh, is this what allows you no, I have no idea what this is. I also kind of lied about the puzzle pieces, because even those add to the history wall back at the PlayStation Labo, a big room that compiles everything you found throughout the game, and is currently getting the side eye from Nintendo's Law Division. Oh, I also feel like I should mention that at the end of every world, you get a new PlayStation console, which shows up at the Labo. I bring that up now, because I feel like that's a nice segue into telling you we finished all the worlds, getting us a total of 12 trophies. Four for beating all the worlds, four for getting all the puzzles in each world, and four for getting all the artifacts in each world. And then we get put into the void. We find the PS1 Tech Demo T-Rex, and then, uh the next gen remake version of the PS1 tech demo T-Rex, and then we're finally greeted with the game's credits, which are probably the most fun credits I've ever played through. Uh, oh, I, 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 Jesus. Even this game's credits are fun, look at this. Once that's finished, we play through a little shameless ad for the PS5's accessories. Ooh, the brand new Pulse 3D wireless headset by Sony Interactive. Oh, new artifact, the HD camera. And finally get the PS5 itself, earning us the Play Has No Limits trophy. There it is, baby, the PS5, the PlayStation 5 Interactive Entertainment Unit by PlayStation Interactive. Play Has No Limits, clear the game and got the new generation artifact. There we go, look at that. I did not mean to look at the trophies. With all the main levels completed and all the collectibles obtained, I next move on to the speedrun section in which I had to complete eight new speedrun missions with a total time of seven minutes or less. Okay, so I need to complete all of these uh, network speedrun missions, I guess they're called. And I need to complete it with a time of seven minutes uh, overall. So uh, yeah, let's, let's, let's just jump into it, bro. Let's just get good. This part wasn't particularly tough, but it was a lot of fun. As I said before, the gameplay of Astro's Playroom is basic, but it just feels good to play, and that applies here too. Are you using this as background footage for your narration? What the hell, man? I'm putting in so much effort here, and you're, you're just using this as background footage. I will say, I wish these levels were a little harder. I feel like I've already got way more than is to be expected from a free game that came with the console, so I'm hardly losing sleep over the side mode being a little easy. No. Anyway, with all the levels completed, I was able to get the one Astro Run trophy and move on to the wrap up stage. Man, I wish more games would use the touchpad mechanics like this because that just that feels so clean to use. And there you go, run Astro Run, get a total speed run time of 7 minutes or under. For this part, all I had to do was run around experiencing some of the more random trophies this game has to offer, like standing under this shelter for the trophy Jason. I should get <laughs> Jason. And the trophy Adequate Boy for shooting a few rabbits, which I for some reason was just incapable of doing. I shot them all on the ground like this little guy. Can you stop? So I shot like, so I shot like, oh, oh my God. I'm going to become a crazy, crazy man soon. There you go, adequate boy. Get all the rabbits in the, with the, 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 the. 
Very good, very good. That should be enough. There you go, project me. There you go. Okay, so here's one of the achievements I need to do. I need to try and juggle this five times. Hey! There you go! And there you go, Wild Arms. Perform the spin attack while shooting the minigun. And finally, as the last part of the wrap up, I had to play this gotcha machine in the PlayStation Labo. No, Nintendo, go away. This part was kind of tedious because I just had to keep pulling the lever and smashing some balls over and over until I got everything in the mission. What? I ran out of coins? So after grinding for some coins for about 10 minutes, I went back and I was able to- Oh my god again! After grabbing a few more coins, I was able to get the last puzzle piece, giving us the trophy, a grand tour. Beautiful, there you go, a grand tour, got all puzzle pieces in the game, way to go, beautiful. This damn machine made me grind the beach level multiple times. Oh, and it got us the rest of these trophies along the way. So the gotcha done, I went around the PlayStation Labo, hitting some signs and launching some bots. Next, I think we just need to open the distro. Like that. <laughs> I'm sorry guys. Until finally, I picked up the Platinum Trophy, earning me the Platinum Trophy. You know which one I'm gonna pick up, brother? <laughs> I'm picking this one up. You got a trophy, picked up a trophy in the PlayStation Labo, and you've done everything. There you go. Found all trophies in Astro's Playroom. See you in our next adventure. That is it. Astro's Play. It's it's beautiful, man. This game is so much fun. I love it, and I'm I'm happy this was my first Platinum. If you want to see me grab the Platinum Trophy for other more challenging games, then make sure to subscribe to see more from me, and leave a like to let me know you enjoyed the video. That's all from me. I got a pee.